Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests. Um, thank you for attending today's ceremony. And thank you uh, to both our great Pergol team for the amazing work they've been doing and for our best damn band of the land that, that did an amazing job at playing the French national anthem. So bravo and please join me uh, in a round of applause. My name is Jean-Pierre Faguet and I'm a dog face soldier, a French dog face soldier. <laughs> Today is Bastille Day. It's the French 4th of July. When the CG told me a couple of weeks ago that he thought that the sole US division having a French DCG should celebrate Bastille Day, I found that a great idea and I felt both uh, honored and, and grateful. Uh, so uh, thank you, sir, for, uh, for this kind gesture. I know he's trying to get to us uh, from Benin. In France, as it was just said, the, uh, the 14th of July um, marks the starting point of the French Revolution on 14 July 1789, uh, when the Bastille, uh, the central prison in Paris, was torn by the population. And it was the, uh, uh, the, the, the prison where the, the political opponent to the kings were locked. Um, 
this, uh, this was the starting point of the French Revolution that, that started uh, on, on that day. Uh, more importantly, this day celebrates freedom and the values of the Enlightenment that bred the French Revolution and the French Republic, democracy, individual freedom and human rights, progress and science, liberty and justice for all. Therefore, in some way, Bastille Day is not only a day of celebration for France, but for all democracies, and a day to celebrate the French and American relationship. Looking closely at history, the French Revolution and the American Revolution were sisters, and the universal nature of the values uh, that, that inspired this, this post-revolution are probably what, what inspired uh, Benjamin Franklin, a founding father, when he said that each man has two countries, his own and France. <laughs> the influence of the ideas of French thinkers and philosophers, alongside the example set by the US Revolution a decade before the French one, uh, proved to be instrumental in making our two nations among the forward leading democracies in the modern era. These values have been shared by France and the United States since the US was founded in the late 18th century, and they still guide us today. They were shared by the first Americans that fled the oppression in Europe and went on to fight against the British rule in the colonies, supported by the French contingent led by General Rochambeau and Lafayette, who together with General Washington's young US Army defeated the British in Yorktown in October 1781. Who <laughs> Actually, as a symbol of the shared value between France and the United States, and this enduring friendship with the, the, the oldest ally of the US, the key to the Bastille was offered by Lafayette to Washington uh, a couple of months into the revolution in 1790. And if you go to Mount Vernon, Washington's house, the key of the Bastille is still hanging on the wall today. Uh, my presence today, wearing proudly the, uh, the, the, the American flag on my shoulder, is the evidence of this enduring friendship. Because Bastille Day celebrates freedom, it's a day where the French nation gets together and celebrates its armed forces who protect their freedom. And therefore, it's traditionally marked in France by the national military parade uh, that happens on the Champs Elysees in Paris in the morning, uh, sustaining the strong bond between the nation and the armed forces, and that we'll be able to, uh, to watch uh, in a couple of minutes uh, later on with a glass of wine. Um, it's, uh, it's uh, also uh, celebrated in every military garrison and down to the smallest village in France where a ceremony will take place at the monument of the previous wars, national anthem will be played, and all the uniform services will parade on that day. But because the French also like to celebrate and party, the day will end up with uh, celebrations with concerts and balls in every village. Traditionally, the balls are organized by the firefighters and uh, probably because they are also supervising the fireworks that are fired across the country at midnight throughout France. Uh, this day is also for the French president uh, an, an opportunity to give an address to the nation. It does that every 14th of July. And he has also a special moment with representative of the armed forces in the gardens of the uh, Elysee Palace or at the DOD residence. And he, that happened last night. And he gave an hour speech uh, to give guidance and a lot of things related to Europe, Ukraine, and what we are well, about to, uh, to develop for that. I should, uh, I should also add that the 14th of July is a day when the, uh, the French cyclists on the Tour de France uh, which is a July event, fight especially hard to win that stage and to make the American, the French public proud. And, and it hurts me very much to tell you that today a, Brit, uh, a British cyclist won the, won the stage. 
finally, let's remember that Bastille Day is also a foundational day for the third ID, as it is on the 14th July 1918, around midnight, that the Second Battle of the Marne started where this division earned its nickname, where the legend was born, and when the third ID became the Rock of the Morn. So happy Bastille Day to you all. God bless America. Vive la République et vive la France. Thank you.